Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another reaction video for what the hell was that? For today and I am here to take a look at the teaser trailer or I guess just teaser for Masters of the Universe Revolution. Yay! More. Anyway, I didn't watch part 2. I'm just going to tell you right here of a uh, revelation, revel revol revolting. What was the hell was it called? Revelation? I think it was called Revelation, right? Um, I watched part one and I was like, eh, eh, I mean, I don't like certain things, which if I say so, people will call me, uh, certain names. So I'll just say, uh, I didn't care for some of the characters, but I thought the animation was great. I thought the, uh, the action was pretty solid. I thought, I thought they got some characters right for sure. Uh, it, it was goofy, but also take it, it took itself a little bit more seriously than other He-Man things. I still think the best He-Man adaptation is the early 2000s one. I love that one. That one's so good. And guess what? Hey, Tila's a really cool character in that one. I'm just saying, she's actually like a, a she's she's awesome and likable. I know, you can be both. I'm just saying. Anyway, so, <laughs> I know it's crazy. Anyway, I don't care. Tila was, when she, when literally, uh, I'm going to spoil uh, Revel Revelation Part 1. I don't know. I kind of know what happens in part two, but I didn't watch it. Um, when when uh, when when Adam sacrifices himself, everybody you know uh, you know to, to save everybody, uh, and he dies, and then two minutes later, Tila makes it all about how oh I can't believe he lied to me. Like who gives a fuck? He just died anyway. That's just good. I, I, if I was the king, I would be like no fuck that. You're going to jail anyway. Uh, <laughs> He just looked too. I was like, what the fuck? I was his dad. I didn't even know. Right? Well, the dad didn't know, right? Even though I think in the original cartoon, didn't he know? I don't know. I haven't watched it in a fucking long time. Anyway, let's go. Let's check this out. Oh, uh, let me put that back. Uh, all right, let's go. Three, two, one, play. For uncountable and the animation will be good. Ooh. I have spread across the galaxies like a fire. Hell yeah. Keep David, baby. Conquering 10,000 worlds to hold my heart. Dude, and Tony Todd's in it too? Because he voices... Scare glow. A hero. The one. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Greater power. There's, there's, she's, uh, I heard about that. She becomes a... Uh... Even the power of Grayskull. Tonight, we witness the dawn of a new attorney. Hell yeah. Mark Hamill as Skeletor is such a great choice. Uh, it's time for a revolution. Whoa, whoa. I mean, it looks pretty good. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. That's really soon. Two months. I'll probably watch part two on my own and maybe watch that. I don't know. Um, I mean, that looks, that looks good. Hey, animation wise, powerhouse animations never fails. I, I think. I mean, they're, 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 they have, might have little moments here and there where the animation is like, oh, that was weird. Um, but like 95% of the time, it's amazing. Oh, that's such a good scene. I love that movie, Steve Jobs. It's so good. If you ever want to see a movie where Steve, I mean, Steve, if Steve Jobs was in it, then there you go. No. Um, uh, Seth Rogen's actually like a legit good actor. Watch that movie. That scene right there is great between him and Michael Fassbender. I don't even care that Michael Fassbender looks nothing like Steve Jobs. That movie does a great job. It's great. It does not make Steve Jobs look like a good person at all. He's a fucking asshole for like 95% of that movie. And you're like, man, fuck this guy. God, but the Aaron Sorkin dialogue, it's so good. I, I can't just, I, I can't say I'm having a bad time though. Uh, they do glorify him maybe a little bit towards the end, obviously. Anyway, back to Master of the Universe Revolution. Um, it was a that was a good solid trailer. I mean, you know, I got keep David in it. That's always a good thing. Um, a lot of He Man in this trailer. That's the thing, though. Is he? I, I heard he's in it a lot more in part two. I just like when it, by the time part two came out, I don't know. I was just like kind of over it. I was like the first part was like a six out of ten maybe like i don't know like the first time i watched it, i was like that was enjoyable and then like the more it, it, it this is the thing like i want to do a reaction for things i like i don't know i it's a different vibe or a different like it's different than when i watch things myself everybody thinks i just talk over things while i'm watching them myself and that is definitely not the case um especially when it comes to like legit movies which is like good meaning good ones not you know the trash we get sometimes or a lot <laughs> i say sometimes but uh yeah i like when i was i was watching game of thrones uh 
I was rewatching Game of Thrones uh, earlier this year, and uh, I think it was earlier this year. It might have been late last year because of House of the Dragon. Um, but oh, I think it was earlier this year. When did House of the Dragon end? That was like late last year. I think I want to say it was. It was whatever. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I was watching that. I was I was fucking like. I, I watched the show already myself, and I was just like fucking. I, I don't think I spoke for like hours. Just watch it, and I I talk to myself all the time. I'm doing it right fucking now, kind of. Anyway, but uh, yeah, I just like when I, when I'm in reaction set, I like I I want to I want to change even if it's stupid jokes and shit. Like I don't want to I don't want to just be a guy that's going. I don't want to be the the jinx of 2023 where I just like if anybody remembers jinx. Anyway. That was right there, not reaction content. I'm sorry. You, you say what you will about reaction content, but if you equate me or some of the other people on this platform to Jinx, then you're just wrong. It's not even the same thing. Jinx literally just... <laughs> Actually, I'm sorry. He would always have a smile. He would... Hey. Uh... Woo! There you go. That's pretty much it. That's a, that's a Jinx video. <laughs> anyway. Like, really, all, all you need, like, um, just have, a like, a picture of Jinx's face watching, like, like, put a picture of Jinx's face over me right now, and then I'll just do this. Hey. Hey, hey, there you go, that's a Jinx video. We'll watch this and be, be like, ooh, you know, anyway. Uh, to the point where I don't even know if he knew how to speak words. <laughs> Did he, has he ever said a word in a video? No, I know he has. Anyway, there you go. That's it. Uh, Skeletor looks pretty cool. Uh, that's Scareglow, right? Um, is that Scareglow? I don't know. I don't remember exactly what he looks like in this. So what's going on here? Uh, oh, you got a... What's the name there? Who the hell is that? Uh, I know uh, towards the end of part two, Evil Lynn became like a main bad guy, I want to say. she. I mean, she always was. But you know what I mean? Like became the threat threat. I don't know if they took care of that. Is that her right there, maybe? I have no freaking clue. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. He combined himself with his, like, little staff, it looks like, maybe? Remember that first trailer for uh, Revelation? How good it was? Here's Tila. Um, yeah, they show a lot of He-Man. We'll see, though. Maybe, maybe they learned. I, I'm okay with it being an even pairing. Tila has always been a main character in, in Masters of the Universe. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Or is it just called He-Man Masters of the Universe? I can't remember now. It doesn't matter. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, so uh, it looks really nice, though. I mean, that's not, like, surprising at all with Powerhouse Animations. They're probably maybe the best Western studio doing animation right now. At least for, you know, shows and stuff. I think so. They're fucking really good. So anyway, that's it. Uh, it looks it looks good, but we'll see. Yeah. Uh, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, uh, won't get fooled.